Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing of a package I received from Angela who is Angie's Crafty Life on Instagram. Um, the package looks amazing. I'm going to unbox everything really quick and be right back. So Ange wrote me a, a sweet little note. Thank you very much Ange and Merry Christmas to you too. So Ange filled that box with a ton of shred. I was running low on this, so thank you so much. I have a ton now to use, so I appreciate that. The first thing that she had at the top of the box was all this candy. Sorry for all the crinkling, but look at these marshmallows shaped like snowmen and Christmas trees. Thank you so much for that. We're gonna make some hot cocoa and use these right away. Next, she added some Charms Mini Pops. My kids will love these, so thank you again. And it's really cool. These are, I've not seen this before, but this, there's like hot chocolate flavor, toasted marshmallow, cotton candy, car caramel corn, blueberry pancakes, and apple pie. That's really neat. Can't wait to try these. And I think she gave me these maybe for my kids. I'm not sure. Um, but these are those mini gumball machines that everyone's been playing with and they're from the Dollar Tree. So I'm excited to use these in some crafts. Um, recently, Eileen Payne had posted a video on how to turn these into snow globes. So I'm excited to try that out. So thank you so much. And these actually really work. Um, there's a mechanism inside and the gumball machines really, uh, the gumballs really do come down the gumball machine. And people have been using this to dispense beads out of. So th these are great. Thank you so much. So next I'm going to clear this off and then show you the projects that she gave me. So the things that Ange and I um, decided to swap on was a tag flip. And this tag flip is using printables from the Fairy Tale Club. There was an online crop event that the Fairy Tale Club put on. It was called the Spooky Scrappy Bash, I believe. And in that two-part crop, there were printables that were kind of like the party favors for um, attending the online crop. So while we were on the crop, because she and I both attended, we decided, hey, how um, it'd be fun to just use her printables and create a tag flip. And so that's what we did. That was the, the main thing that we were going to swap. And then it was a crafter's choice and then um, a mem deck. So those were the three things that we swapped. And she's already received my package and posted it on Instagram. And um, I finally received her package. So I'm very, very excited because I really um, love the way Ange crafts, um, especially because she does a lot of um, sewing on all of her pieces. So here we go. So this one is a tag flip and she used all these fibers, different like tool, different laces I've never seen before. Oh, this is really pretty mint gingham ribbon. Very pretty. And she made a little dangle here using beads. Little heart, kind of donut shaped bead. Very cute. So this is one of the printables. It's, it says Crafty Witch and she sewed it. Oh, she double sided. Oh, maybe she, so I know that Ange subscribes to the Fairy Tale Club. So this might be, um, a double-sided paper that um, is offered. Actually, never mind. I'm not sure. It's very well done. It looks like it's almost double-sided paper. If it is. Um, next, it's a spooky ghoul, and she did lots of layering. Yeah, I think some of this is ephemera from the collection, the Halloween collection that came out from the Fairy Tale Club. Cute pink pom poms. Oh yeah, she, it's double-sided, so definitely she used some paper from the collection. Oh, this is cute. Oh, somehow she got my name on it, and I don't know how she did that. I love that paper craft power. A little potion bottle, it's really cute. And then she stitched, I think every tag, I think she did some stitching. Very cute. This one says pumpkin spice, please. And it's mint colored stitching. Happy Halloween. It's spooky. Oh, I love this little bit of fabric here. She managed to match it. Also some more mint color. Crafty Girl Elixir. 
She glued on some pink iridescent sequins. Love that. Oh, oh wow. I think she might, I don't know if these are actual gems or if she used um, Nouveau Drops, the jewel drops. I'm not quite sure. It looks almost iridescent, so maybe these are true enamel dots. But that's really pretty. Just nice and simple. And then she did some stitching at the bottom. It says, what's your poison? I like that. Scrap magic. And a lot of these um, pieces I had also used in my tag clip, so it's really interesting to see her take on the same um, pieces. She has some enamel dots here, and I love that she has fabric that matches. I think Ange does quilting too, so I'm sure she has some amazing fabric stash. Ooh, she did some pinking at the bottom, and then zigzag stitched all the way around this one. Oh, I use this Christmas tree too in her in her tag flip. Then she has these, I think she has either enamel dots or again nouveau drops on it. But then she did stitching all around the tree and a cute little star at the top of the Halloween tree. Oh, that's, that's fun. So I think one of the characters in the Fairy Tale Club's uh, recent Halloween line is Pastel Pumpkin Spice. So that's the name of one of her characters. And Ange stitched all the way around. And she did a lot of cutting. I don't know if she, yeah, she must have done all that by hand. That's a lot of work. And then there's some um, Day of the Dead um, printables also on the Fairy Tale Club's website. And um, in case you're looking for the Fairy Tale Club's products, it's andreabethkey.com. And I'll link it um, in my video, uh, in the description box in my video. And then I think Ange, with all these little tiny drops, she did like little Nouveau drops all across the bottom. That's a lot of work. And then she also did some up here as well. Then Day of the Dead, again, lots of zigzag stitching. I need to get myself some mint thread. I really like this color. And then Spooky. Oh, I love the netting she used on the bottom here. Love that. And then she put these teeny tiny diamond dots all along the bottom. I like that effect. It's like a little bit shimmery. And then that pink resin iridescent heart. Oh, I think, she, did she write on that? This might have been um, a, a cut apart or ephemera piece from the collection. Oh, this is cute. Spooky. Oh, I love that. She layered this fabric onto this buffalo plaid double-sided sheet, and she used a heart-shaped um, eyelet. That Everything matches. It's so great. I love that. Yay! I love sequin miscuses, and she has little diamond dots in there, pink sequins, black stars, big black sequins there and oh I love those little um, tube confetti I have some and I haven't pulled it out to use in sequins mixes but I think I will actually is that actually no these are little two yeah these are tube confetti they almost look like small beads for a minute there and then here she again layered it on top of fabric Every, I mean, almost every tag she layered the paper tag on top of fabric. This is so nice. And then she has like a pumpkin ruffle at the bottom. I think everyone should live by this mantra. I'm not afraid of anything. I lived through the great TV shortage of 2020. Hopefully everyone's able to get TP now. Stock up. But look, she again did little pinking all around this card and then she sewed it onto this pink foam. I've not seen that before, that's great. And then, I think this is actually the front. Oh no, this is the back. Oh, <laughs> she wrote, thanks for swapping with me. I love that. I don't know how she did that. I think she must have done that by hand. 
she also she almost made it look like sewing or that might be a stamp I'm not sure because it was similar to the one that had my name on it in the front here oh now I can't find it right here. there yeah it almost looks like sewing I'm not sure how she did that but that's really cool all right so that's the first project and next I'll show you the mini that she gave me it's adorable so excited I have not received any Memdexes so I believe this is my first Memdex and it's so cute it's a suitcase I mean it's so detailed and she made a felt sweater it has my, it's, it's a felt ugly sweater but it's so cute and it's, it has a letter L she did I think I don't know if she did hand stitching because it's so little I don't know if she's able to do that on a machine or not, but she stitched all around this little tree. Like everything is stitched. It's amazing. Oh, I love it. I think she has like some snow here. I can't tell if that's snow or if that's sewing, but there's so much layering. It's beautiful. It's There's a star here with little diamond dots, um, a snowflake that's sewed on. There's like a peppermint candy and a fall la flare, which I think is from the Fairy Tale Club also. And this is like a felt or fabric snowflake here. And then there's a snowman and a house and another, this is like a resin or flocked um, snowflake there. And then there's an even bigger snowflake behind this um, sweater. I love it. It's really pretty. Wait, I think there's something inside here. Oh, she added something. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh I don't have these. I don't have, sorry, I have this dangle on my sweater. It is so neatly sewn and assembled inside. Sorry, I'm like inspecting it. I don't have a large paper clip, so thank you so much. And and she cut out some little sweaters for me. I think I have this die, but I didn't realize I could cut felt with it. So I think this is a KS Crafts die. So now I'm gonna try cutting felt because I have a ton of felt. And she included all these pretty, oh, pretty dangles. I mean tassels and some sequins. Thank you so much, Ange. I don't have anything like this. I love it. Okay, I'm not gonna try to cram that back in. I'll be right back with the next project that she gifted me.